Happy birthday, Scorpio soul travelers. Blessings and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You're joining Priestess Melissa. So good to be here with you today. We're going to be getting into your weekly reading, tapping into the wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle cards to see what is your main message. Is that going to come out as an upright or a reversed, which will either present as a challenge or an ally. We have Magician and Hierophant here. Those are always good to have together. This to show that, you know, you are leveling up more or less, especially when it comes to your energetic skills. You may be uh, picking up a thing or two here or there <laughs> that's helping you to level up in the game and, you know, learning how to play it more effectively, if you will. All right, Scorpio. So we're going to get into the light seers as well as the vice versa tarot to clarify with a bit of a Celtic cross spread for you. Get some advice from the Menology cards. We'll also get some advice at the end from the Lover's Oracle cards for your love messages for this week. So do stick around till the end for that. All right, guys. These are general readings. May or may not resonate with everyone, but you can get your own personal reading at, sorry, excuse me, at, uh, <laughs> VenusianWays, yes, .org. If I could get myself straight, you guys cannot even imagine everything that I have going on, but I don't want that to be an excuse. I'm here for you, and we're here to do a reading for you. Now, if you are interested in learning how to read tarot, I am putting out a course that will be uh, hitting off next month, so the details will be coming out for that soon, and you will really enjoy it because it's going to have a lot of goodies with it, and of course, you're going to be learning from an official priestess. Now, for those of you who did enter into the Halloween giveaway, I have announced those winners uh, through the email, or sorry, through the particular post wherever you may have posted during any of those readings last month uh, for your weekly reading. I have let those people know who are the winners, so do look out for that. Blessings to all of you who entered, and thank you so much for always you know, connecting with me, talking to me, and things like that. It really is nice, and I do appreciate it. Thank you to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor you for the messages for Scorpio. Yes, take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths, and relax. Beautiful. Scorpio, I just want to thank you so much for all of your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations. Do hit the bell notification and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the videos I put out. All right. And again, information is going to be coming out soon in regards to reading tarot for yourself. How cool would that be? Not only that, but you can do so professionally once you know how to. All right. This is open to anyone. So what's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio energy. In the reverse, we have the ringmaster of scrutiny. Let's see what's going on here for you today. So it feels like maybe somebody is trying to, in a sense, dethrone you or throw your plans off, trying to have some sort of, you know, um, Mm, bearing on the way that things go for you. Presenting challenges is really what I feel with this energy. Discernment, clear vision, and detail. So something is eluding you, like you're missing a detail, you're not seeing something clearly, right? Or you're needing to take more discernment in a matter right now. So let's take a look at this card and see what this has to say for you. The number of this card is a nine, and this is talking about, you know, coming to the end of something that you've been working on, some plans perhaps that you put into place, Scorpio. So we're coming to that point, but it feels like somebody may be trying to, you know, throw a monkey wrench, if you will, into those plans. So let's check this out. In the challenge position, the ringmaster says, the ringmaster of scrutiny appears as your challenger to warn you to observe your situation with discernment and clarity. It's time to see the flaws in the foundations you and others have built under you. So this could be with another person that you have been, you know, in a relationship with, and maybe, you know, one of you or you is feeling like, you know, you're wanting to change those plants up. Um, but do be aware, you know, that uh, whatever has been going on, it hasn't been very, you know, 
it hasn't been very stable is the word that I, you know spirit is imparting to me to begin with and so you know this is one of those tower moments that almost feels like you have an opportunity to you know do something before perhaps something worse happens if you will so it also seems that you may be getting caught up in the details of your dream when you really you, what you're worrying about is the past and the future too much, forgetting that the dream is created in the now time. Often the ringmaster of scrutiny also brings a warning to read the fine print and watch for the hidden agendas when you are involved with others. So I did say that. So you may want to be aware of people around you at this time or if you're in a place where you're about to sign a contract, it doesn't matter what it may be for, make sure you always look over the details before you sign the dotted line, as they say. Don't worry, however, whatever your current challenge, things can be resolved as soon as you cultivate detachment and trust that the details will be taken care of once you turn them over to the divine. So you're gonna need some help in making this decision or these moves, whatever they may be. The universe has an uncanny way of self-correcting when you get out of your own way. So, pretty clear, getting out of our own way. Again, being aware of all of the details, um, not look, overlooking any of the details, you know, and, and not turning a blind eye even maybe to something that you know that you've seen. Yep, there's the tower right there. And this could be around a marriage because Hierophant could also indicate that as well. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, or even if it's not a marriage, it could be, you know, excuse me, a long-term commitment. You know what I mean? Something where you're living together and things of that nature. Death energy coming out here today, so maybe it is time to switch up the plans or maybe somebody is switching up the plans on you and you may not be aware of it. You know what I mean? But the nine with this nine of cups and the nine in our card, perhaps this is saying this is going to be that wish fulfillment that you've been looking for. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Your cards are being crazy. They want to go every well, darling, every well. Oh yes, there's that fool energy. So definitely if it's not you, somebody else is uh, thinking about moving on, taking that leap of faith. So this is what's crossing you, what's at the center of all this. No strength, no, no energy, you know, for, this is leaving you in this place is what it feels like. So I feel like this could be happening to you that somebody is throwing that monkey wrench in your plans, right? It's almost like, you know, that, uh, what do they call that? Trust fall. Yes. So, you know, you don't feel like perhaps you can trust this person any longer. At this time, you may be spending a lot of time alone or you may be taking um, time away, going on a little bit of a staycay or a special spot. Uh, that you like to go to when you need to think about things. And definitely this is around someone that perhaps you don't want to work with any longer or someone else does, didn't want to work with you, but maybe they didn't tell you that. You know, they didn't, you know, fill you in on the plans, the details of those plans, right? And, you know, this is you perhaps not feeling like you want to be committed any longer to this, you know, really being sure about that, but also thinking about what does this look like moving forward. In any case, you know, the clarity is here. There's no longer any confusion. Nothing is hidden is what this moon in reverse energy would indicate and definitely this is not divine timing to move forward on a situation you know to trust somebody you are going to have to really be aware of the intentions of others at this time be able to you know see what's going on around you because it does feel like it could be someone around you um i don't see a particular person yet but again i feel like it could be someone close to you, you know, that, again, is making perhaps other plans, Scorpio. All right, let's clarify and see what's going on here. Then we'll get some advice for you. Hit the like button if you're resonating. Strength in reverse. What do we need to know about this? And we have the emperor in reverse. So definitely, this is an energy of someone who has dethroned you, made you feel emasculated, or in any case, you know, just like 
um, they've taken a lot of your energy from you because this is kind of like one of those, you know, being caught off guard type situations. This isn't something you would have expected. All right, what is this hermit energy? Definitely getting alone has helped you to see, or if you haven't gotten alone yet into yourself, it will help you to calm those storms and to help you to see clearly whatever has been hidden perhaps. And we did just have the full moon that came through, so perhaps there's something with all of that. Three of Wands, you've got your back turned to somebody, it looks like. No longer putting up a fight with that Seven of Wands in reverse. You know, so you're looking in a different direction now. But at the same time, maybe feeling like, what is that direction? You know, maybe feeling a bit bewildered, Scorpio, at this time. Because of being caught off guard like this. At the same time, no more of this toxic energy. You can now turn this energy around and i feel like that's what you're thinking about right now no longer being committed to anything toxic being aware of what that is you know and that's where this getting alone is helping you you know to do the healing that you need perhaps at this time taking that blindfold off and being able to see things clearly moon in reverse and it is all around your happy home. You are going to bring more stability back into the home, you know, um, by uncovering what has been potentially going on by seeing things clearly. And I do feel like, you know, that you are going to get things balanced out in your life. But, you know, should it be with this person? I'm going to say probably not based on what I'm seeing at this point, Scorpio. All right, let's see what is coming out for your advice from the Moonology cards. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius because we did see Aries come out with the Emperor as well. Um, that devil would uh, be... Yeah, Earth. Yeah, so in any case, you know, this is talking about, I see this as being like your true north. When you go towards what's truly meant for you, everything is going to seem like it just kind of magically falls in place. You know what I mean? What else is coming out for Scorpio today? I just really see you not having any energy for this any longer, you know? And the energy that you're building towards what you're going, uh, moving away from and going towards, you know, this is building momentum with every day, every moment, every step that you take, you know, you're moving towards that life that you truly deserve. Emotions are running high at this time, though, is what I'm seeing with this super moon energy, you know, with you as well as this situation, because even when we are, you know, making a change for something we know is better for us it's still a stress you know a good move you know taking a, another job that's better for us it's still a change and it's still a bit stressful so I understand that that's just a part of the process as we're getting used to the new territory if you will love for Scorpio please okay and we have this energy of playfulness coming through. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So even if you're not having fun together, it's good to laugh with the universe and say, oh yeah, that was a good one. You know, we're definitely going to work to avoid that in the future. Transformation is here that says, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. I almost get an energy where... Um, Potentially, you know, somebody could work things out in a situation, especially with this coming out at the end with the Four of Wands as well as the Moon in Reverse energy. I feel like 1414 coming up on the timer. If someone is able to, you know, be done with their toxic ways, you know, this is someone I feel like you really care about. Otherwise, you know, that's all the reason these things hurt us so much, right? 
But if we can, you know, talk about things, if we can really level up with each other and be able to lighten this situation, we could potentially spark that flame back up, Scorpio. But you are going to be the one who is going to be able to best decide this. I wish you blessings for your week ahead. Do hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification, and do watch out for those details for reading for yourself. See you soon, and bye for now.